Now before we start, what I would encourage you to do is just copy out the diagram that we're given. This is a typical moments type of question, so we're going to need to put some forces on it. Now, we've told that this rod AB is a non-uniform rod, so in other words, the weight won't act in the middle. We're told that it acts through this point G, the center of mass. So if the rod has a mass of M, the weight acting downwards through G will be Mg Newtons. So you need to put that on. We're also told that a particle of mass 5 upon 2m is attached at B. So let's just put that weight in. So that's 5 over 2 mg, okay, newtons. Now when you get problems like this resting on supports, you expect to get a reaction then from each of these supports. And because the problem's not symmetrical, these reactions are going to be different. I'd normally call this one, say, R with a subscript C, newtons, and this one here, a reaction from D, RD, and that would be RD newtons. But what we're told in this question is that it's just on the point of tipping about this point D. So if it's just about to tip about D, in other words, this rod AB wants to turn in a clockwise sense, this end is going to start to lift off of C. So if it's going to lift off of C, there will end up being no reaction here. So in this question, what we've got to do is just either put this equal to zero or just simply not draw it in at all because it's just about to lift off of this point C, so there'll be no contact force, right? Okay, so that would be my diagram, and we've got to find this length GD. We've got to show, in fact, that the length GD turns out to be 5 over 2D. So to start this problem then, I would just say let x equal the length gd. We'll mark that distance x on, okay? So if we just mark it in here, that distance we're trying to find gd, we'll call x. So I said it's a typical moments question, and we need to take moments about the point d. I'm often asked, how do you know which place to take moments about? Well, in this equation, uh, we don't want to involve RD. We don't know it, okay? We don't know it. And by taking moments about D, it won't enter the equation because it passes through this turning point, okay? So we'll just have an equation in a moment with M's, G's, X in, okay? And D's in as well. And that's what we want, okay? So that's the reason why I'm going to take moments about D. So we'll say take moments about D. And we need to set up a positive sense. And it's up to you. It doesn't matter which way you take. But I'm just going to go for an anti-clockwise direction. You could try this with a clockwise direction, okay? and uh, should end up with the same result at the end of the day. So moments then. Moment is force times the distance back to the point where you're taking moments about. So when it comes to taking moments in this question, let's start with, say, this force here, mg, the weight of the rod. And which way does this turn? Well. I like to just use my kind of ruler technique, okay? Just imagine you have a ruler. Put your finger on the point here, say, which represents D, okay? We're pushing down with this force. Let's just push on that ruler in that direction to simulate this force here. What would happen? The rod would turn, or the ruler in this case, would turn in an anti-clockwise sense about that point there, okay, in the 
positive sense for me anyway. Okay, so its moment will be the force, mg, multiplied by the distance from g to the point where we're taking moments. So that'd be x, so that'd be mg times x. Now we've done that moment, we need to go on to this one. And we can easily simulate this one just by pushing on the ruler at this end, down in that direction. Remember your fingers on this point here, and what will happen is the ruler will want to turn about D in that sense, which is now in a clockwise sense opposite to what we've got here, so it'd be negative. So we have minus then, and it'll be this force, 5 over 2 mg, multiplied by the distance from B to D, which you can see is D. As for the force R, D, this force passes through this point here. If you were to push with your finger on here, if you were to push up through here, you'd find the ruler doesn't turn. There's no turning effect, no moment about D. And that's what I was saying earlier, we don't have this value coming into our equation because of that point of taking moments about D. Okay, well this is the resultant moment, but the rod is in equilibrium. So that resultant moment, that resultant turning effect is zero. So all we need to do now is just work this out for X. So you could cancel mg, it's in every term, okay. And then all we need to do is just add 5 upon 2d to both sides and you end up with therefore x equals 5 over 2d. That's what we had to prove. We had to prove that gd, x in other words, equaled 5 upon 2d. Alright, so I hope that's given you some idea how I would go about that kind of problem.